Hey guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys a commission I've been working on, so let's get on to it. So this is a commission that I've been working on a few weeks ago and I'm finally able to show you guys because this was made as a gift for this person's daughter and I was so excited to make this for her so that was really nice to do and I started out as you guys would expect at this point I'm sure with the sketch and the sketch is one that I've made on my iPad and for this one i decided to use blue for the sketch outlines i don't know why i think it looks a bit nicer than just using the black color in this i think blue is more like a sketch kind of color so that's what i started out with and i want to make sure i started out with her face i think when i'm drawing the thing i'm most nervous about when i'm drawing for people and when i'm drawing with references with the purpose of actually recreating someone in my style is the face and that was the most important bit so I spent quite a while making sure that the face was okay and I know you don't really see that when you see these videos and the progress of my sketch and my work but that was the thing I was really focus on the most i want to make sure that was 100 percent perfect and that was really matching up as good as i could and i did use some people to make sure that i got some pointers here and there especially my husband um i asked him you know does this look right to you and especially when you're just starting out with these things it's always nice to get like a second opinion in and make sure that you're doing the things right and that you're seeing things the right way as well and i know he's not an artist but he does have a different perspective as well so that's what i very much liked so once that was done once i was happy with it i worked on the hair and i don't know why i tend to go like with very big hair for some reason i like big hair i like a lot of hair when i'm making my drawings and I had to make sure I toned it down a little bit as well so I made it a bit smaller and actually matching with what I was working um, for and was what I was working with so that was a lot of fun to do um, I worked with the dress as well for the dress I used the one that she was wearing in the picture and this will be made for her 21st birthday and that's why she wanted like the assignment was to have her sit on the chair and I was like, why not put those banners on the back of the chair to very subtly signify her 21st birthday. So that's why I made those. They will be quite colorful in the end. And there is like 21 written on them as well. So I think when you really look at them, then you'll see it. But it's not like in your face. And that's what I liked as well. Oh, and she had to have a glass of champagne in her hand. That was a request too. And that's what I did. So that was a lot of fun to do. I love drawing like liquid, like champagne in the glass. I like drawing like the flowy element of that. I think that is very pleasant to look at. So once that was done, I printed it out on an A4 blending card and I use that basically for all my artwork, but usually I use A5 and I use my like little guillotine here to cut them into a5 sizes so that's what i do and that worked out quite well so i'm really happy with that but anyway a4 printed in a4 and then i started the coloring process so for the coloring i i go with my usuals you guys i started out with a skin color now what i didn't do i didn't go from top to bottom i went from bottom to top left and then to the right so that was a little bit different but it works and uh, i started out putting the color down and putting the shadows down and the highlights well not the highlights but like the blush as well so that was fairly straightforward and i didn't have any issues with that luckily and once that was done i continued on to her eye colors and her eye is or her eyes are brown and I made sure to use like a new brown that I've had and I really really like the tone of that it's got like a warmth in it that I like 
and I'm quite happy with my new Copic marker for that brown and what I used as well for the hair because their hair is like brown as well I went in with a bit of a lighter version but then I went over it with like the same dark brown as I had for her eyes and I used that as well to make sure that I could blend them all together and what I did is I went in with my light browns and then I went over with the darker ones and then once all the darker ones are filled in, all the shadows are there, the light brown basically acts as the highlight. So I tried to make sure that the lighter areas were like in areas where it looked as if it was like the light hitting on that section. So done that and went over there with the lightest brown as well to make sure that everything was blended. So done that for both sides of the hair. And yeah, that worked out quite well. I didn't really have any issues with that. I was quite happy with everything. I knew exactly where I wanted to put the highlights and the shadows and everything like that. So I do feel like maybe there is some progress that I can make when it comes to hair. I, I don't know exactly what. I feel like there is an area in my drawings and my art where I can step it up but i haven't quite figured out where I yet it's just when i look at it it's like yeah i'm happy with it i'm really really happy with it don't get me wrong absolutely but it's like i feel like i can like improve in some areas now as you've seen i don't really draw feet and they kind of look like indistinguishable it's just like all mashed together basically there's no separate toes or anything that's just the way i draw them i think it would look really weird if i would start drawing individual toes in my art when i'm drawing feet and i don't know why it's just a feeling that i have i've tried it doesn't look right and maybe that's just an area i need to improve on feet um drawing limbs can be quite hard as well like where do you put them and how do you pose them and you don't want to use the same pose over and over again now this is a pose that i've uh, never really drawn before i've only drawn one sitting down person and that was in my huge collaboration piece that i've drawn myself on the chair and that is where this idea came from because this lady saw um, that picture with myself sitting on the chair in front of everyone else and she was like that would be amazing if you could draw my daughter sitting on a chair kind of like that and then with a glass of champagne in her hands so that's where that came from so the post kind of was like suggested then by my client which was absolutely no problem i love drawing new things i love trying out new things so no worries at all and Geez, when that all was done, I started coloring in the dress and the request was if I could make the dress like a green kind of, like a gray kind of green. And I don't have a marker that is gray enough for that level. Now, I had to make sure I used two markers for that to get that effect that I wanted. So I used a gray marker. I think it was a number five, a neutral number five gray. And I went over that with one of my green markers that was a little less saturated than other markers that I have. And that works. That really works. It was a lot of work. You can see me coloring in big, big sections of gray and then having to go over it with the green. But it gives me the effect that I want. And that's what I've done it for. And I was a little afraid that because I'm coloring in such big sections, that it was going to be patchy and thank goodness it wasn't patchy so I'm glad I was able to avoid the patchiness for that and yeah I really got that out there so I'm really happy with that and you can see that I'm really careful when putting down the gray I'm avoiding coloring in the lines that I've made in between so I kept those white but then I went over it with the green and I didn't really care so much about the lines. And that was, there's a reason behind there. I tried to make those lines a little bit lighter than the rest of the drawing and thus a little bit greener. And not putting down the gray in there, but do putting down the green in there. But I felt like that had the desired effect that I wanted it to have. That's what I was going for over there. So in case you were wondering, that's what I was doing. I'm 
not trying to mess up my art i didn't have any other intentions for that it wasn't a mistake i definitely meant to do that and i'm really glad that i did that as well now when it came for like the back of her dress i found out that like the inside of her dress i found out that i like I had to use a darker gray or yeah even a darker gray for that because the other ones that I had it wouldn't cut it it wouldn't give me that effect that I wanted it seemed as if the dress wasn't like if it wasn't the inside of the dress if that makes sense if it was still like exactly the same as the outside so it just felt wrong so I had to make sure I used the darker gray for that to make sure that no this is the inside of the dress it's darker and it you know it's not the same as the outside obviously the light won't hit it and things like that and what you see me do as well is i put darker areas on certain sections on a dress too because i want the dress to have like folds and everything and creases and that's what i try to do too so you can see me going into the darker pen here and then trying blending it out too because i want to make sure it's nice and blended it's that looks good, of course. Jesus, commission, like you want it to look perfect. So with the dress pretty much done, I moved on to the chair. And I don't know why, but I was kind of looking, not really really looking forward to making the chair. Like I've used the colors before. I knew exactly which colors I wanted to use. Maybe because it was just such a big area and there's like less challenge in there or something maybe that's why i i'm not quite sure i was like well, okay you know it's a chair and it's just a lot to color in but sure i made sure that i started out with the lightest color then with the medium color i went over it and i made a pattern in the wood to like make it look like wood so you see me do that and for the pattern i was like oh my gosh like what kind of pattern is like do i put in for the wood like because uh, you wanted to have like I want to have the knot showing and everything so yeah I'm, I'm kind of happy with how that turned out I'm kind of going over a few places with the even darker marker where I was like this needs more shadow than I'm giving it now so yeah that was basic that was little oopsie basically where I was like okay well that should have been a darker color that should have been a shadow area instead of just a light area but worked out fine i'm quite happy with how that turned out so no issues at all for that and went over that with like in different sections so everywhere i put like the knotted like the wood grain and everything i went over it with the marker because it needed it too and yeah i'm quite happy with how that turned out so done the left side of the chair and i'm doing exactly the same with the right side for the little orbs at the top they're like wooden orbs so the lighting will be a bit different on that so i'm quite happy with how those turned out i found it quite tricky not quite tricky to do but it's like a very finicky job so i wanted to have things done like perfectly and have it as smooth as possible and with markers you sometimes have to be really careful when yeah you can blend things together absolutely but when you put too much marker on the paper and you go over it for too long, it's kind of like it pulls away the color of itself. And I'm not even joking. If you go back to like previous videos of mine, you can see that certain ones I've got, same as swatch book. I got a swatch book and for some I went over like the areas I wanted to make darker to build up color i went over it too much and you can absolutely 100 percent see that it takes away the color from itself and that is such a shame i did not mean to do that it's just it happened i went a little bit too far and before i could notice it i got that so yeah be careful if you work with markers because that apparently can sometimes help too and it won't make it look nice and i kind of feel like it's beyond saving at that point so I added in some details as well. I made sure her shoes were black, her nails were black. And that again is part of like the picture I used as a reference. And I had balloons at like the bottom right side as well of the picture. Um, I put them there because I felt like it just brought more to the picture itself. It's, it symbolizes party. It makes it feel as if the picture is more complete as well. I don't 
think the picture would have looked quite as right if I didn't put the balloons in there. And that is purely from the fact that if I put the bottom of the chair there, I didn't think that would just look right. I think that it would be nicer with the balloons there. And I'm really glad that I did put them there. I also realized that because it's an A4, I'm usually using A5, that the screen is not completely showing the entire drawing in one go. So I'm really, really sorry about that. I do think that you can see like the full picture when I'm moving it here and there, but yeah, that's what happened there. So I'm completing the picture now by coloring in the banners. And as you can see, I'm using one color for like the background and then I'm putting a darker color for like the numbers. So that was my intention there. And I really like how it looks. I think the colors that I picked really blend in with the rest of the picture. It's not really out there poof in your face, but yeah, it, it's ha I'm happy with it. It looks really nice and yeah, I don't think I could have picked better colors for this one right now. So that is pretty much my drawing, you guys. I really hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.